Yes, ETOS has uh, released a new uh, software update. Uh, we have now 1.3.1, um, and also Monero has hard forks, and there's a different way of mining on Monero, so stay tuned. So yeah, hey, hey, hey guys, I hope you're all doing good. Welcome back to Mining Hardware channel. Um, this is me, your host, Guntis, as usual. Uh, and we will have another amazing video, as we usually do have <laughs> on this channel, only covering the best. Um, so yeah, um, ETOS has released an update. Oh, by the way, watch the video till end. We have a play out some cryptocurrency, uh, as usual, and in end of the video. So yeah, watch that. Um, so yeah, we'll cover cover up the uh, um, new ETOS because there's a different way of uh, um, uh, regulate overclock settings like the, the power usage on the graph scars. So we're gonna cover that and see what changes we can make. Um, also, yeah, Monero has uh, a hard fork to eliminate the ASIC miners. And so uh, there's a, uh, what you need to do is update uh, Claim more miner on the ETOS and uh, just add some, uh, add some extra commands to mine, keep mining Monero. And it's getting more profitable as the ASIC miners are eliminated, but that's a whole different story. We will cover up that probably in my next video. Um, we will see what the changes has done on the network. So yeah, let's, let's go in. Um, today I'm testing out one of my antique rigs. Um, it's, uh, it's about two years old. Um, look, it's all dusty and, uh, and looks very bad, but it's still working um, after two years. Yeah, there's a lot of people saying, you know, um, cards die after a few months, but they don't. If you look, look, look after them very well, um, they, they work with no issue. You know, the main thing is you, you keep them uh, under 65 degrees or something like that uh, you not 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 let them overheat and uh, and yeah after two years the the mining rig is still working yeah it's a little bit dusty but i clean that time to time and uh there's no issue uh this mining rig has six uh, rx 480s red devil uh eight gigabyte it has 1300 watt power supply it has the astroc uh, H81 Pro BTC motherboard, the old one with the 1150 socket. So yeah, let's let's turn on and see and see what we get on the screen. Uh, it's running now on a ETOS. It's running now on ETOS 1.2, 1, yeah, 1.29. Um, so if you are running some older version. It doesn't matter. You also can update, but you know, if your rig is running stable, there is there is no need really to um, update your uh, miner. Um, only if it does some kind of improvements, like a better power usage, um, like uh, more hashing speed. Like uh, if your rig is unstable and uh, after you updating, it's getting more stable, or your hardware is not not compatible with the older versions. So that's the only reasons you update the miners. Um, the command on the, to update the miner, I think I had a, on my, one of my previous videos, is sudo etos minus update uh, space and end sleep five space and, and space R, and that, that, that will update your miner. Um, also want to show you one more thing. I'll, I have a, already an installed and uh, updated on another SSD, so I'll be switching it there and showing you uh, what needs to be changed in the newer version. But I want to show you just um, what you need to do to uh, mine Monero after the hard fork. So what you need to do is update the Claymore miner, sudo update minus miner, uh, Claymore 
minus XMR. And this will update your miner to the 11.3 version, which is the latest. Uh, then you need to go into your configuration file, so VI local conf. And you need to add the flags. Um, there's a flags which say uh, minus POW7. This for the uh, this means to mine the uh, uh, Monero hard fork, the, the new version 7. Um, uh, and to enable this, uh, you just uh, click once, uh, enter number one. This is this means to enable. Um, so yeah. I'll see see what the what the speed like. So, right, I'm currently getting on this mining rig. I got getting 4,900 hashes on six cards, and uh, and it also uses power. Seven hundred and fifty to eight hundred watts. So this this what what uh, does, uh, this rig is using. Um, now I will put on uh, the ETOS 1.3.1 uh, into the miner, and uh, we'll see if there's any change. Um, I didn't uh, update now because it will take a little bit of time, but I will just uh, replace the SSD which is which I have already installed the 1.3.1. Okay, let's boot this thing up and see what, what it's doing. Yeah, my Monero after hard fork uh, has gone a little bit more profitable. Uh, currently, I checked just a few minutes ago. This rig is, has about uh, seven US dollars profit in every 24 hours after I pay my electricity, which is about uh, 17, so sorry, 13 cents for kilowatt. So yeah, this is booted up. Um, let's check the speed we will have. So show minor. I'm actually running the same overclock settings which I was running on on ETOS 1.2.9. You can see the card starting in the hashing. We're getting about the same speed, 4,900 hashes. Uh, but the uh, power use is just slightly different on this. You can see it's actually using less, 680 watts to 710, which was uh, on the other miner, uh, 1.2.9 was, was about uh, 750 to 800 watts. So let's see how we operate the configuration file on this. There's few changes to be done. So the changes you would need to know, uh, which has been done on this. So global memory, global core stays the same on 1.3.1. Um, there's actually uh, global power tune is is different. It's the same as on on the uh, Nvidia cards. You now regulate the power tune 
uh, you regulate the wattage on the car. So on the custom, your custom panel, you'll see uh, how much watts the car is using now uh, for the RX series, 400 and 500 series. Um, also, uh, the, the, the power tune, now it's called uh, uh, DPM. So DPM, and then you put the rig name, uh, which is up here, six numbers and letters. And then furthermore, you put the uh, uh, power stage you want. So two, 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 or three, three, three. You can, uh, every card, uh, you can put their own power tune. Um, also, to regulate the voltage, you first need to uh, add a command line to your configuration file, safe volt disabled. This is what you need to add also. And then you can regulate the voltage. Otherwise, this, this, this line won't be working where you regulate the voltage. Yeah. I hope, I, hope uh, I was clear about this. And yeah, that, that's, that's all you would, would, you would need. So, and also, also the same thing. Uh, you would need the flags to mine the Monero. If you're mining Monero, you will need the flags to, uh, for the uh, POW7. Uh, um, actually, I was also testing on Ethereum, but I was getting uh, worse results on Ethereum on 1.3.1. But Monero seems a little bit different results. So I think I need to maybe tune more the, 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 R, the, the graphics cards to get more, may, maybe better settings on Ethereum, because the 1.2.9 version, um, version I uh, was using about 800 watts, where uh, I was, was getting with the same speed uh, on the, with the same speed on the 1.3.1, uh, I was getting about 900 watts, so 100 what's more for the same speed. Um, I was trying to reduce the power, but the rig got uh, very unstable, so I, I left it running like this. And uh, yeah, I got it stable, but it's using 100 watts more, so I'm not really sure. I will be testing more um, to get a proper settings, because the, the settings has now changed on ETOS. So yeah, I hope guys, this video helped you. Um, and uh, you will get your cards uh, tuned the more easier and you don't need to do much research, just so you can watch this video. If you found the value, share, share this with your friends. Um, comment under the video, um, as usually to get access to some, some, some free cryptocurrency. Also, um, yeah, share, like, and uh, comment. That's all you have to do. <laughs> See you on the next video, guys. Bye, take care. Okay, yeah, so let's give out some uh, cryptocurrency out to random people who is commenting under the videos. Um, so from the last video URL, we will choose three winners uh, with a 0.02 Ethereum each. So we have total 300. It can't be right. should be this link. Search. Yeah, we have 48 unique unique comments uh, under this video. So let's start the raffle. And the lucky one is David Ecker. Um, sorry, it's not. He doesn't have a. He doesn't have the. Yeah, he doesn't have the. Uh, uh, Ethereum wallet others under this. So let's start again. Uh, winner Osirius tweets. Have your all miners have your miners all made break break even? Um yeah actually like uh, my mining farm uh, which I started, you know, um, some of the miners, you know, I uh, was managed to save some cryptocurrency. They 
like the money you paid in maybe in a week or so um like if you didn't change the cryptocurrency because i started to mine ethereum quite uh early so address 0 0.02 next yep submit okay so let's get another one and copy okay start again Winner is Mauro. Congratulations, man. Uh, informative videos. No bullshit. As always, good job. This video is all, all that we need. And my question is, I noticed that your mining farm is mostly mine Ethereum. After Ethereum changed proof of stake, uh, what coin you mine after? Um, at the moment, I'm thinking more to Monero because, like, they are, uh, you know, they are... Um, doing this uh everything to be acid proof so the acid can't mine so i probably would focus on monero at the moment but you never know might some good new currency come out okay 0 0.0.02 0 .02. next submit okay and one more last time It is winner Sykesar Psy one will at come back. Um, I, I I don't know what you mean by that, but probably you mean that by the price. Um, of course, uh, you know it's not to be even you know the the Ethereum is only down like all the markets is in the cooling period. It happens time to time. If you long enough in cryptocurrency, you you know um. And you have noticed this uh, a lot of times. So yeah, it, sooner or later it will come back. So send 0 0.02. Go. Submit. So yeah, congratulations to you all three winners. And um, thanks for watching.